Hi there, my name is Paige Pearson and I work for the Biotech Controlled Environment Team. And today, I will be talking to you about one of the ways we create high producing corn. One of our goals is to provide farmers with seeds that will grow the best crop. This means that we need to bring together the beneficial traits of many different plants and observe the resulting plants over multiple generations. Some of the factors we assess are general plant health, productivity, along with their ability to withstand environmental stresses such as drought, plant disease, and damaging insects. One of the most effective breeding methods to create these high-performing crops is hybridization. When two plants have the desirable traits or crossbred, the next generation tends to display the desirable characteristics of both parent plants, and they tend to be generally stronger and more resilient. This is known as hybrid vigor. This process might sound complicated, but it starts very simply. Corn is a monocot, which means it has both male and female parts. The male part is the tassel, a broom-like structure at the top which contains the pollen. The female part is the ear and silks. Each silk strand is a pollen tube that leads to the ovule or egg cell that will eventually develop into one kernel. Out in the field, tiny pollen grains distributed by the wind fall onto the silks of the neighboring plants and travel down through a silk to fertilize an ovule. In a research setting, we want to control which plants we cross-pollinate. The pollen is gathered from tassels and then dusted onto the silks of the plant we wish to fertilize.